Hey, this is Bethany, and today I am finally refilming my PMD update video. I've been using this for several months since I did a review on it, and I wanted to fill you guys in. And this video better upload clear, otherwise I'm gonna throw a fit and chuck this camera out the window even though I'm the problem because I can't see with the crap from a distance. But anyways, uh, this has been requested from a lot of you and I'm happy to keep you guys updated on my progress with the PMD, so enjoy! Alright, so the first thing I want to let you guys know before we get into this video is I'm not wearing any foundation, but yes, I have done my eyes up a little bit. I looked particularly tired today and I needed it. I put on mascara and I put on my eyebrows and then I put on a little bit of uh, powder by my lash line. So it kind of perked me up a little bit because I looked exceptionally tired and I wasn't going to let anything stop me from filming this video and getting it taken care of finally. So next, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about using this. I've been using this since January. I filmed and uploaded a PMD review in February and I had thus far had some pretty great results with it. My skin had gone from bumpy and hormonal looking to significantly smoother but it did not yet look this good. Um, what I have right now with my skin is basically the average of what I've gotten out of using the PMD once a week on the same day every week just about. I might It might be off by like a day or so sometimes but I've been using this weekly religiously and I can go ahead and say that I'm going to continue using it. One thing I wanted to let you all know is I started out with a sensitive disc and then I moved up and now I am using the medium green discs, or I guess they're the moderate ones, and they actually look kind of gray to me. I haven't at all used the body discs because I don't really have anywhere on my body I want to use the PMD, I break out on my face. But this is what the medium discs look like, and they're just more coarse. Um, I noticed a very significant difference a couple months ago once I jumped up to using the medium disc. So if you're using the PMD and you've only just kind of got through the disc that they send to you with it, I would continue trying to move up the discs and see what works best for you and I might always use medium or go up to a coarser disc. But I will say that my progress in terms of how much more refined my pores got and uh, like I have some scarring, it's not terrible now, but I had some like dimpled scarring a little bit. Once you move up to a more coarse disc, that helps really smooth over the texture of it. So that was really great. Something in my eye. Get out of my eye. What is it? Oh my god, I don't like it. Another thing I mentioned to you guys last time was that I have a scar on my lip from my cat leaping from my shoulder and her black back claw hooking into my mouth and basically almost going through my lip just about. Um, so I have a scar here. There's still that white line where the tissue sealed but the texture of this is way smoother. I already mentioned it last time but going up to the medium disc I definitely felt that difference a little bit more too. And so just everything I do is so much better from using this because I put on my foundation and it just goes on a lot smoother. Even if I'm breaking out, everything is just a lot smoother. I got one really big acne um, on my cheek, usually this cheek, <laughs> like twice a couple months ago. And every time I got a bigger acne, which was only a couple times fortunately, it didn't stick around as long as it used to before I started using the PMD. So overall, the PMD has really positively affected my skin and my life and my confidence a little bit too, you know, because I wake up and throw on some tinted moisturizer and mascara and I go, and I just go. I really can't rave about this enough. Um, it's also just way more affordable to use than if I was going to an actual dermatologist's office and getting microdermabrasion done. I bought this box of discs for $15. It comes with four for your face and two for your body, so that means that I've got enough discs for four months for my face, so $15 takes care of my face that long. That's pretty awesome. That's way cheaper than going to a microdermabrasion office. I really don't have a lot of skin problems now. This is what it feels like to me to have clear skin, and I know people have, you know, 
better, more flawless skin than me, but th this to me is great, okay? This to me is clear skin. I got like a few little things going on, and I'm always going to have those little things, but they're no big deal to me as long as I'm not getting those big, bumpy, painful things that I was getting. So this is the main thing that I have changed in my skincare, and this is what it did for me. So you guys had some questions on my video where I did the PMD review, and so I'm going to answer some of those for you just to make sure um, that you guys have a little bit of an understanding about it. So let's proceed. Okay, one person asked, does it hurt a lot when you run it on active acne? Wouldn't that make the acne more irritated or become worse? And what I would recommend is if you're just starting out the PMD, of course use the sensitive disc. Um, do not run it on top of active open wound acne. Just, you know, work around it. Or if it's something that's dried up and mostly closed, I would skim it over twice, but I wouldn't focus on the area. Um, surely going over active acne would just irritate it because that would just be like exfoliating an open wound. So do not do that. Uh, glad we had this talk. I've had a couple people ask me whether it helps with blackheads around your nose. Will it get rid of those? I'll say um, it definitely does refine them. Blackheads don't completely forever go away though. You have to keep doing and updating whatever you're doing that keeps them small and refined, which for me is using the PMD in the medium disc. I will say that after I've used it, my pores are way, way smaller, but then, you know, once a week rolls around and I'm due to use the PMD again, I've noticed my pores are getting a little bit bigger and they're ready for that exfoliation again. So I will say yes, it does reduce your blackhead size, but you have to keep doing it. You just can't, you know, use it a few times and then for a long, long time your pores are tiny. That it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. I wish it did. And also, be sure to use all your favorite, you know, skincare products right after that because you've stripped that top layer and all the active ingredients in them. I'm talking with my hands a lot, what the heck. Um, all the active ingredients in them are going to be delivered into your skin a lot better and they're going to be more effective. Some people are asking for more pictures. I do have more at the end of this video and I took some of me today. I'll show me to you up close. But after about three months of using it, I just stopped taking pictures because you fluctuate every day. And it's hard to kind of capture that average in the pictures. I will say though, the last month and a half to two months, this has been my average, especially since I got rid of that big one that was on my cheek. So uh, I do have some pictures for you guys at the end, but unfortunately it's just kind of hard to capture what the average is because some breakouts might go away and some little ones might come forward, things like that. My skin is never, ever probably going to be perfect, I mean, but this is good enough for me. Alright, so this has been my finished PMD update video. I'm going to include some pictures for you guys at the end, and just here this last minute I'm going to like zoom up and show you my face. I know, I know that my skin is not perfect, but to me this is like quite the accomplishment. It really lifts my mood. It makes me want to film more often. I often struggled with trying to make videos, but also not being able to make them because I just didn't like my face. Like it was so bumpy and it would distract from the look. And when you're, you know, in person it might not be that bad, but when you're up close and in a camera, it can be a little distracting. So yeah. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I hope I gave you some useful information. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll answer them the best I can. And yeah, anyways, I'm going to show you guys my skin up close and make sure that the camera is zooming appropriately. Alright, so this is my face pretty up close without getting you close enough to like see my nose hairs or something. Ooh. So this is what my skin texture looks like. You can see that when the light hits my cheekbones, it's, you know, a pretty smooth texture over top of the pores. They're not very huge. They're pretty small. I'm always going to have semi-large pores on my cheeks, uh, but this definitely makes them way smaller. And then my forehead is like really smooth. Um, usually my biggest pores are right here and here though. and. This is after they've been refined a couple days ago when I used my PMD. So, and then I got a little bit of acne going on here. Sometimes a thingy thing going on there. But to me, this is a great average of clear skin for me. This is what clear skin looks like. And it makes me really happy. 
So let me know what you guys think of my results. Can you tell the difference from the earlier photos that I'm gonna, you know, attach right here at the end? And yeah, I, I think I can and I'm excited about it, so yeah. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I will be including in the bottom a link uh, that is my username that will give you an additional discount uh, if you're shopping for PMD from their website. They were nice enough to include a discount for me since I was doing a review, so yeah. And I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching my video. Bye!